Today I want to talk about Nadi Shodhana, which is the practice of alternatively breathing through one nostril and then the other. The theory behind Nadi Shodhana is that the right nostril uh, is connected with the Pingala Nadi, an energy channel that governs the left side of our brain uh, and uh, the sympathetic nervous system. It's often referred to in uh, classic yoga texts as the sun, the male side of our being, while the left nostril is connected with an energy channel called the Ida Nadi, which is connected with the parasympathetic nervous system. The right side of, of our brain, the intuitive side of our brain. So by breathing alternatively through uh, one nostril and then the other, we bring these two aspects of our being into balance. The practice of Nadi Shodhana is to bring our whole being uh, into balance, both on the physical level, but also on the uh, mental and emotional level. So the basic uh, requirement is a hand position in which you fold the index and the middle finger of the right hand against the base of the right thumb and you make a little claw with your hand like that and that little claw is going to fit on the nose just above the flare of the nostrils and below the bony protuberance of the nose there's a little little notches and the thumb is going to fit into the right notch and the ring finger is going to fit into the left notch. The skin of the finger has to stay in contact with the skin of the nose at all time. So with that hand position and with the skin of the fingers in contact with the skin of the nose at all time, a very slight movement of the right thumb is going to close the right nostril and a very slight movement of the right ring finger is going to close the left nostril and in that way you can alternatively close one nostril and the other and breathe through the open nostril okay so i'm going to talk you through the first two rounds of nadi shodhana and then you'll have to find your own way into it, find the, the rhythm that uh, works best for you. So you place your hands in position on the nose, your right hand in position on the nose. Inhale slowly through both nostrils. Exhale through both. And then close the right nostril with the right thumb and inhale slowly through the left and close the left nostril with the, the ring finger and exhale slowly to the right inhale through the right close the right exhale through the left Inhale to the left. Close the left, exhale to the right. Inhale to the right. Close the right, exhale to the left. And continue at your own pace, inhaling through one nostril, changing over to the end of the nostril, exhaling through the other nostril, inhaling through the same nostril, changing over and exhaling through the other nostril. And you find your own rhythm into this practice. And you notice what rhythm feels comfortable. For you. 
So some schools of yoga use a different hand position, which is somewhat similar, but in which the index and the middle fingers are resting between the eyebrows. And again, the, the similarity is that the thumb is manipulating the right nostril and the ring finger is manipulating the left nostril. So that's another possibility if you're used to doing it this way, uh, rather than the way I spoke about earlier on. Uh, another thing which might be worth mentioning is the position of the arm, the, the, the right arm. Uh, it should be as relaxed as possible. There's no need to lift the elbow up in the air. You keep the arm in a very relaxed and natural position, falling by the side of the body with the right shoulder completely relaxed. And in that way you don't get tired and you can keep going for a long time, manipulating the fingers and uh, practicing Nadi Shodana.